welcome back to my channel side hustle seattle so today i'm actually going to go over what google voice is so i've had some comments in the past about what it is and why i use it so i figured i'd do a quick tutorial um, so essentially with Google Voice, it's a free phone service that Google provides for anybody to use um, that'll do call forwarding, it'll do voicemail services, you can do free text messaging, um, but it's really beneficial, especially for somebody like me who has a business on the side. So if you've watched my videos before, then you know I have a notary business. And of course, I don't wanna tie my personal phone number, the phone number I've had my whole life um, to my business and all on the internet and all of that. Um, so what I do is I use a free Google Voice number to be able to use as my business contact phone number and I tie it to my personal phone number. It sounds more confusing than it actually is, but essentially people call the Google Voice number and it forwards to my personal phone. One of the big benefits of that is if I ever decide to stop being a notary or stop doing my notary service, I can always just turn off that Google Voice number. I don't have to worry about switching my personal phone number and getting calls I don't want or doing anything like that click of a button, I can turn off that Google Voice number, or I can switch that Google Voice number whenever I want. So there is a lot of benefits to using this, not even as a business, just as an individual. The great thing about Google Voice is you can use it tied to your phone, but you can also use it on the web. So let's say you only have a landline, now you can make and receive calls on your browser, on the internet. Um, so there's a lot of great benefits. It is free for all. Um, so let's go into a little bit of tutorial on how to set it up, like I said, it's quick, it's easy, it is painless, and I re recommend it for anybody who is looking for another way to get in contact with people and looking for another phone number for whatever they may need it for. All right, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you go to Google Voice on the web. You'll see an option for personal use. You'll also see an option for business use. I actually just do the personal use. Um, for business use, that's more if like an organization needs multiple phone numbers, but I'll go ahead and just show you that um, just in case you're interested. So I'll click for business. And as you can see, it's really just aimed at bigger organizations. There are some costs associated for the business accounts. I mean, they start at $10 and go up to 30, but again, most people are just going to be using it for personal use. So we'll go ahead and just go back to that. So if you click personal use, you'll see Android, iOS, or web. So if you wanna get it set up on the web, you just click web. Otherwise, if you click iOS and Android, it's just gonna take you to the app store. So either way, go ahead and click web though. So you do need to put in your Gmail account. So I went ahead and I just put in my Gmail account for it. And then you just go ahead and follow through the steps. Go ahead and click next. Now, once you get into it, um, it's just gonna let you know that it is a free phone number. You can read the terms of service if you want to. Let's be real, nobody reads those. But go ahead and click continue. Now, once you click continue, you actually get to choose your Google Voice number. So maybe you want one tied to a certain area code, or um, maybe you have something very specific in mind. Like if you have a business in New York, you want a New York one. I live in Seattle, so I went ahead and typed in Seattle. Now keep in mind, they're not always going to have phone numbers tied to those cities that you want. So I went ahead and just put in my zip code to see if there's anything close to it. So nothing in Washington, unfortunately. So I'll have to go ahead and just pick something that I think looks good. I'll go ahead and pick Oakland because I lived in Oakland for a while. Perfect, so now that number is my Google Voice number. So you have to verify it, and you do have to verify it using an actual phone number, and that can be mobile or landline. Now, I actually already have a Google Voice number tied to my personal phone number, so I went ahead and just switched into that account. Now, when you get in, you can automatically make calls straight from the web by typing in the phone number. You can click message on the left-hand side, and you can just write out a text message as well. Super easy to do. You can even click voicemail on the side also. Now, one of the great things about Google Voice is they actually transcribe the messages for you. So if you have an iPhone or an Android, that's nothing new to you, but it is nice, right? Because I get a lot of voicemails from clients, especially if I missed it during the day. So it's nice to have them already transcribed. And then also on the left-hand side, there's an archive if you've archived anything, and you can check for spam if you've got any of that. Now at the top, you can set the settings if you're on web. There's also some uh, helpful articles, and then you can go to the main settings. Then the main settings is where you link everything. So 
I can link which devices I want that number tied to. So I have it tied to my personal phone number as well as the web. So it just means I can send and receive calls from those two places. I can also go to messages on the side and that's going to allow me to um, put where I want calls and messages forwarded to. And then for calls, again, I can answer calls on either the web or I can answer it on my phone. You can toggle a lot of stuff on and off, um, depending on how you want to make and receive calls using this Google Voice number. So again, it is um, adjusted to your preference. Now you can go do not disturb on the side. If you do use it for business, maybe you want it to go straight to voicemail during the times that you're not working, you can do that. You can also set up your personal voicemail. So if you click on voicemail, you can have a message there and away message. Um, so you can record that greeting. You can have web notifications and there is this payment button. So it is free. However, if you are making out of the country calls, you do have to pay for that. So you will have to set up some billing and put some credits on your account. And then of course, there's a couple other things on the side. So that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward to get set up. Now let's look at the phone. So when you're on iOS, I have an iPhone. This is what the app looks like. Pretty much the same thing. So you have calls on the bottom, you can import your contacts, you can do messages from there. Super straightforward and simple. You can do your voicemails all the same and then those basic settings that we just had. So all straightforward. Okay, so what do we all think? Pretty straightforward, right? Like I said, super easy to set up. Um, definitely beneficial if you have a business or you need it for personal use or whatever you want to use it for. You just don't want to give somebody your personal phone number. I get it. Um, I'll go ahead and just link Google Voice in the description just in case you're having trouble finding it. Um, but let me know. Let me know what you thought of the tutorial. Let me know if you use any other phone forwarding services that you think people should be aware of. And as always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.